Hi everyone, welcome to Perpendicular Lines and Perpendicular Bisector. We will be discussing the definitions of both in terms of a diagram. First, we have perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines create congruent 90 degree angles. So for example, if you look at the diagram, we have EF is perpendicular to AB at P. So notice we have what looks like a T. So anytime we have that particular shape, like a T, that means that I have four angles here. And we're going to label them 1, 2, 3, and 4. All of these angles are 90 degrees because perpendicular lines create congruent 90 degree angles. So angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, which is congruent to angle 3, which is congruent to angle 4. Four. Angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3, and angle 4 are all 90 degree angles. And therefore, because they're all 90 degrees, they're congruent. So anytime you see the word perpendicular, I would circle it and I would write create 90 degree angle. Next, I have a perpendicular bisector. Now, for this, I see two key words. I see the word perpendicular, and I also see the word bisector. We have two different definitions. First, perpendicular lines create congruent 90 degree angles. And second, a bisector creates two congruent parts. So let's look at the example. AB is perpendicular bisector of PQ and intersects at O. So the first thing we will address will be the word perpendicular. Again, remember, perpendicular lines create 90 degree angles. So again, if I were to label each of these angles that are formed by making a T, they're all 90 degree angles. So angle 1, 2, 3, and 4 are congruent 90 degree angles. Angle 1 congruent to angle 2, which is congruent to angle 3, which is congruent to angle 4. Now that takes care of the perpendicular word. Now let's discuss bisector. Now remember, it says AB is a bisector of PQ. Remember, whatever comes second is what's being cut into two congruent parts. So again, remember, bisector is two congruent parts parts. PQ is being cut into two congruent parts. AB, remember, is doing the cutting. So that means PQ is congruent to QO. Here and here. So remember, anytime you see the word perpendicular bisector, you have to address both parts of the definition. Perpendicular Lines create 90 degree angles, and a bisector creates two congruent parts.